All right, we're going to talk about logarithms. It's what happens when logs decide to rap and have some good rhythm. Ha, huh, funny, yeah. Um, we're going to start with our good friend 10 to the x, an exponential function. Base of 10, x is up in the exponent. The graph is right here. 10 to the 0 is 1. 10 to the 1st would be 10. Let's talk about the inverse. Remember, inverses change or interchange the domain and range. So this point that was 0, 1, the inverse would have 1, 0 on it. This point that was 1, 10 will have 10, 1 on it. And this exponential graph that had an, an asymptote that was the x-axis, this logarithm graph has a vertical asymptote that is the y-axis. So, remember the way we find inverses, we interchange the x and the y, so f inverse would be defined by x equals 10 to the y. In other words, y is the exponent to which the base 10 is raised in order to get x. So 10 to the 0 power is equal to 1. 10 to the first power is 10. We write this as y equals log base 10 of x. Log is short for logarithm. The base 10 is like this base 10. And this logarithm finds us the exponent of 10 that gives us x. Logarithms are defined to be the inverse of this exponential function. So how do we undo multiplying? We divide. How do we undo squaring? We square root. How do we undo raising to the x power or raising to the 10th power? We take the log. The way we undo exponentials is by logging. So the logarithm in base 10 of a positive number is the exponent when the number is written as a power of 10. So here we have 10,000, that's equal to 10 to the fourth. So what I could say is that the log base 10 of 10,000 is equal to 4. The log in base 10 of a positive number is the exponent when the number is written as a power of 10. So logarithms are exponents. Log base 10 of 100 is equal to 2, the exponent. Log base 10 of 10, what's the exponent? 1. This one, log base 10 of 1. What's the exponent? 0. Log base 10 of 0 0.01 is equal to negative 2. So, a couple of properties here, and then we'll come back to this idea of rewriting exponential things in logarithm form. Um, if we have 10 to log base 10, and Log base 10 of, say, 100, if we don't write a subscript down here, if we don't write a base, we're assuming that it's base 10. So this is equal to 2 because 10 squared is 100. So 10 to the log of A is just A, the log base 10, and the power of 10 cancel each other out. And then log base 10 of 10 to the x, again, those cancel each other out. They undo each other, leaving us with just the x. So without a calculator, find log of 100. Log base 10 of 10 squared is equal to 2. Log base 10 of 10 to the 1 fourth is equal to 1 fourth. And we can plug this into our calculator easy enough. So since I'm 
unprepared and don't have my calculator loaded. We'll come back to this in just a second. Let's go on here. I guess this says use your calculator also. So let's look at what we do. Here it comes, here it comes. We're waiting patiently, waiting patiently. Um, so you may have seen a button on your calculator or calculators in the past that said log. That's the button we're going to be using. Regular plain log is log base 10. Almost there, almost there. Here we go, loading the review workspace. And here it comes, here it comes, here it is. Yes. So let me enlarge my screen. I want a calculator page. Um, so, log, 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 log. Where's log, where's log? Oh, here's 10 to the x. Look, right above it, log. And notice here, when you push that button, it actually gives you a space to put the base that we want. So I'm going to put base 10. Base 10 of what? Um, one of these was the fourth root of 10. Easiest way to put that into the calculator is using a fractional exponent. Bam! It's equal to 1 fourth of 10. Log base 10 cancel each other out. Log base 10 of 100. Enter. Boom! 2. All right, just what we expected. So, um, use your calculator to write the following in the form 10 to the x, where x is correct to four decimal places. Hmm. 10 to the x. 10 to what power equals 8? Um, remember, logarithms are exponents. So log 8 would equal x. So let's jump to the calculator. Log 8. And again, got to put the base in of 10. And 8 is what I'm taking the log of. Correct to four decimal places. We would say that this is 10 to the point nine zero three one. And if I do that in the calculator, if I do 10 raised up to the point 9031, I pretty much get 8. So the way we handle this is we're going to take the log of these numbers, log 800, log 0 0.08. We plug that into the calculator. That's going to enable us to write 10 to whatever this is. So, use the calculator to find log of 2. All right, log of 2, log of 2, control, not base 2. Log base 10 of 2. 0 0.3010. Log of 20. Okay. Remember to put the base of 10 in. 1.301. Okay. Now explain why log 20 is log of 2 plus 1. Well, log of 20 is 2 times 10. And 2 is the same thing as 10 to what power? Right? 2 is 10 to the point 3010. If you don't believe me, do it. And then 
10 is the same thing as 10 to the first. Now we can use property of exponentials, log 10, I can add the exponents together. Now log base 10 of 10, blow it up. And that is exactly what we get here. Log 2 plus 1. Huzzah, we got it, good to go. Find x if log of x equals 3. Um, this is kind of going backwards. Remember, logs are equal to exponents. Exponents of what? Exponents of the base. 10 to the third equals x. x is equal to 1,000. 10 to the negative 0.271 is going to be approximately x. To do this, we're going to go to our calculator. 10 to the negative 0.2, I forget what it is, 271. Enter, so this is approximately 0.536. Logs really aren't that horrible. The thing to remember is logarithms equal exponents. Keep that in mind and this section is pretty manageable.